Dr. Jason Saunders here with another frequently asked question. Can I just use hyperbaric for maintenance purposes? In other words, I don't really have anything wrong with me, but I'm understanding that there's a benefit to this hyperbaric oxygen. It seems to make sense. And maybe I just want to use it once in a while, once a month, you know, quarterly, once a week. What's the best maintenance program that I could use hyperbaric oxygen and expect some results? So I wanna go into that a little bit more detail. I wanna say that yes, you can use hyperbaric as a maintenance. I have for 15 years been using hyperbaric oxygen on and off in different ways. I think the best way for me to explain the maintenance phases would be to tell you a little bit more about what I do in my life regarding use of hyperbaric oxygen. If you have a client or a patient or if you yourself are looking at getting a chamber, yes, you can use hyperbaric for maintenance. However, I do also wanna say that what we call front loading, using hyperbaric, at least in the beginning, in a, in a much more standard or specific protocol is really what's gonna allow you to get the benefits that you're most likely looking for. With hyperbaric oxygen, there are short-term benefits and there's long-term benefits. We've gone into those details in earlier videos, so please check those out if you have those questions. But again, in short, the short-term benefits would be things like increased energy, increased parasympathetic tone, small increases in boosting the immune system. Every session, you can expect these, these types of short-term benefits. The long-term benefits are the things that a lot of people are really looking for from a real inflammatory control standpoint standpoint, a real mitochondrial repair and mitochondrial performance standpoint, large increases in immune system performance, stem cell release, telomere elongation, the anti-aging effects. We have to be able to find some balancing between the short-term benefits and long-term benefits. And so, yes, even if you're using it as a maintenance tool, you still, at least in the beginning, want to do some 20 to 40 hours, depending on the pressure and the percentage of oxygen, even maybe 60 or 75 hours in the beginning to front load and really start to expand and shift your body into this, you know, regenerative and uh, healing parasympathetic type of environment. Listen, I hope you're finding these frequently asked questions helpful. And again, I'm trying to answer the questions that I'm receiving online because I'm sure the person asking isn't the only one. If you like this information, please click the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Please tell a friend. We're really on a mission of trying to get this information out to the public so people can make the best decisions possible regarding their healthcare. Once you've done this initial protocol, you can then phase yourself into a maintenance protocol. What's the best maintenance protocol? It really depends. It depends on what your usage is, it depends what your stress levels are, what are your oxygen levels typically, what is your life like, and what are we trying to offset? It's difficult to just you know, state a blanket maintenance program for the entire world, but what I would say is, you know, most people, once they do some sort of front load, they can get away with anything in between one or two hours a week to really one or two hours even a month. But again, that's based on what are your expectations? What are you trying to achieve? What are your health goals? And like I said, what are your stress levels? And what are all the things that are behind the scenes, you know, taking a toll on your health? And we're just trying to use this tool as one of other many tools to balance our health, to control our health to improve our quality of life. That schedule of one, one or two sessions a week all the way through one to two sessions a month really should cover most people. Now, again, it's gonna depend on what pressure you're using at what percentage of oxygen. However, the best way to use hyperbaric oxygen would be to say, listen, you're gonna front load. Let's just say you're gonna do a 30 to 40 hour program initially. Then you're gonna go into a, you know, one session a week or, or two sessions a month for a few months. But what I will tell you is the really the best way to use hyperbaric would be to pick three to four times a year where you then do another 20 to 40 hour program. And so you might do, a let's say, a 30 to 40 hour program initially, do one session a week or two sessions a month for the next two and a half, three months, and then pick another moment where you can really go and do another 20 hour, 30 hour, 40 hour program. It's when you do those larger protocols where you could really start to, again, stimulate the stem cells, really reduce the inflammation, really get that telomere and anti-aging effect, really get your immune system back upregulated. And so, yes, the maintenance programs are good to help maintain yourself in between those bouts. But ultimately, if I could really describe or define what that maintenance program would be, putting those weekly or few a month sessions is important. And that three to four times a year, the 20 to 40 hour protocol is really going to make the biggest impact. And so, even if you didn't do the ones in between, those big protocols three to four times a year, I think are gonna get people the most 
benefit that they're really looking for. I hope that helps answer that question. We'll see you next time.